Welcome to Phrase Film, the show that gives you random film reviews through my perspective. I know by the time this review is uploaded, it's probably old news, but I just have to say how excited I am with the announcement by Warner Brothers that there's going to be a new Flash film and a Batman Superman film. My God, the casting for this should be freaking insane. My personal pick would be Leonardo DiCaprio as Batman and Ryan Gosling as Barry Allen's Flash since he is the current Flash in DC's New 52. I know it's probably not gonna happen considering how these actors like to pick their roles, but hey, one can always hope. Either way, I'm curious as to who your picks would be, so be sure to post them below because I wanna know. Getting back on track with the fourth of this subscribers request list and that is Iron Man 3. Jarvis, let's suit up. I'm Tony Stark. I build neat stuff. I got a great girl and occasionally save the world. So why can't I sleep? You elected me on a single platform. I will defend this country at all costs. The Mandarin must be stopped. You don't know who I am. see me coming. What are you going to do about these attacks? The whole world's gonna be watching. The question, where is Tony Stark? Things are different now. I have to protect the one thing that I can't live without. That's you. Mr. Stark. Today is the first day was left of your life. Iron 3 Man is the third feature for this franchise as indicated by the numerical number 3 and it's an action adventure sci-fi film where Tony Stark starts an odyssey of rebuilding and retribution after his world is torn apart by formidable terrorists. It has a new director at the helm with Shane Black who also co-wrote this film and while he only directed one feature before this, his writing credits also include Kiss Kiss Bang Bang, Lethal Weapon 1 and 2, The Last Boy Scout, and so on. It stars Robert Downey Jr. as Tony Stark, obviously, Gwyneth Paltrow, Don Cheadle, Guy Pearce, Ben Kingsley, Rebecca Hall, and John Favreau back as Happy Hogan. I know that's not how you pronounce his name, but that's how I like to say it, so sue me. Let's get the big one out of the way, and that is the fact that all of the trailers for this film, including the one that I'm showing, is very misleading. If you've seen the film, you probably know what I'm talking about. I know there's a lot of fans who are upset with what they did, but I actually didn't mind it, I have to be honest. The story and pacing of the film is kind of all over the place which gave me the vibe that they're not sure which demographic they're trying to aim. I mean, I know it's definitely a family friendly film since the numerous amounts of Iron Man suits appearing in this film is bound to make kids go gaga for its action figures. But the undertone of it seems pretty dark to me, because it is about terrorism in the free world after all. Not to mention it has a Christmas theme for a summer movie. Not a big deal, but I just find that to be a little odd. With all that said, I really enjoyed this film and their portrayal of Tony Stark as to how he interacts with the people in his life, and this is by far the funniest among the trilogy. I really like the comedy aspect of this film. Plus, it's about time that Pepper and Rhodey got some much needed limelight in this franchise. The visuals look really different in so many ways to me compared to the previous two but in a good way of course and I really liked what the new armor could do when it just came flying automatically to suit up Tony that was just pure awesomeness. It's like the live action version of Senseiya which is known as Knights of the Zodiac for the audience in Canada. It has a lot of memorable action scenes too like the destruction of Tony's mansion and also the meet air rescues from the airplane which goes to say how amazing the visual effects work is since it didn't get me distracted from the intensity of the scene. Therefore, I'm giving this a solid good. It was a suitable fit to the trilogy and as I said before in the summer blockbuster episode, I think that this is better than the second one. Go! I'm gonna offer the choice. Do you want an empty life? Or a meaningful
painful death. You're not a man. You're nothing more than a maniac. I'm not afraid of you. No politics here. Just good old-fashioned revenge. We do need backup. That's your department. Here's my boys. With that said, it's time for Jarvis to get a much needed shutdown to reboot. And so do I for that matter. Hence, before you and I go, be sure to post any sort of comments you might have below. And if you have any film review requests, that would also be the place to post them. Additionally, if you like the show, be sure to show us your love and support by subscribing. It's just one click away, super simple. So you'll be in the know as to when the newest episode is being posted and etc. But that's it folks, I'll see you at the next review.